We are asked to find out the power associated with the dependent source. To find out the power of a current source, what we need is the voltage across it. And from V0, we can find out the power as power is V0 into V1 by 5. Okay, uh, the dependency, okay, this is V1. We are going to write the case here like this node that is. We have minus V1 by 5 as the incoming current, which is taken as negative. We take the incoming current as negative minus V1 by 5. That is this current. Now, this current through 5 ohm will be V0 by 5. Now, this current will be V0 minus 20 by. 5 this is equal to 0 this is the case here now we have two unknowns but it is clear that if v1 equal to 20 volt then v1 by 5 will be 4 amps okay that is we have v1 by 5 is nothing but 4 amps that is minus 4 plus 2 V0 by 5 minus 20 by 5 is another 4 to 0. That is we have 2 V0 by 5 equal to 8 and V0 is 8 into 5 by 2 that is 4 into 5 that is 20 volts. Now we have found out what is V0. So we can find out the power as 20 into V1 by 5 we have already found out as 4 amps that is 80 volts now see we know that this point is at 20 volts with polarity positive here and negative here so we have 80 volts power delivered by the source delivered by 